Hi, this is Alec from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book and record episode to do. Today's book is Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back from 1980. So let's get started. This is the story of The Empire Strikes Back. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear R2-D2 beep like this. Let's begin now. It was a dark time for the rebellion. After the loss of the Death Star, the evil Galactic Empire intensified its efforts to crush the Rebel Alliance. Princess Leia and her small band of freedom fighters sought out the remote ice planet of Hoth for their new secret base. From atop a shaggy tauntaun, Commander Luke Skywalker surveyed the snowy landscape. Well, girl, no sign of Imperial troops. It looks like we're safe for now. Deep in the frozen caverns of the Rebel base, the famous star pilot Han Solo watched a blip on the radar screen. Looks like trouble. An Imperial probe droid. Come on, Chewie. Let's take care of that thing. Outside, Han and his Wookiee co-pilot tracked down the intruder. As Chewbacca distracted the droid, Han blasted it into a thousand fiery pieces. But before being destroyed, the probe had transmitted a final message to the evil commander of the Imperial fleet, Darth Vader. Set a course for us. The rebels are there, and Skywalker is with them. Suspecting danger, the rebels began evacuating their base. Princess Leia's voice rang through the ice halls. Air and ground troops, to your battle stations. As the rebels waited nervously for an enemy attack, the ground began to tremble violently. Inside the base, ice walls shattered and heavy machinery toppled to the ground. Han raced to Leia's side. I don't know what's heading this way, Princess, but it's shaking the place apart. Walkers, huge dinosaur-like war machines, stomped their way across the snowy ground. Deadly cannons roared as they marched toward the base, clutching everything in their path. Luke led a squadron of snowspeeders against the machines. It's no use. Their armor's too strong for our blasters. But we've got to hold them off long enough to get everyone out of the base. As the last wave of rebels left off, Princess Leia turned quickly to Han. Well, I guess this is goodbye. I've got to get to my craft now. Suddenly, a wall of ice crashed down, blocking her escape route. Han tugged Leia toward the Millennium Falcon. It looks like you're stuck with me, Your Highness. The golden droid C-3PO shuffled hurriedly after them. Surely you wouldn't think of leaving me behind. Colonel Trump, Darth Vader led his Imperial troops into the hangar as Han tried desperately to start the Falcon's engines. Would it help if I got out and pushed? Snapped Leia. This baby's still got a few surprises. Okay, Chewie, punch it. Passengers agreed wholeheartedly. 
Back on Hoth, Luke boarded his X-Wing fighter and greeted his droid co-pilot R2-D2. Okay, R2, all ships are away. Now, let's get out of here. As Luke launched a new course into the computer, he heard a questioning chirp. That's right, we're not joining the others. We're going to Dagobah. I'm going to train to be a Jedi, like my father. chamber aboard the Imperial Destroyer Avenger when an urgent message from the Emperor arrived. There is a grave disturbance in the Force. Should young Skywalker become a Jedi, he will be a terrible... City. I must go to them. Yoda shook his head. No, ready you are not. Only a Jedi can defeat Vader. The training you must finish. Then go. But they're my friends. I'll be back, Master Yoda. I promise. Darth Vader stood in Cloud City's carbon freezing room. I'll take Skywalker to the Emperor, frozen, but unharmed. We'll test it first. Bring in Captain Sora. Han was lowered into a deep pit. Sub-freezing gases swirled about him, encasing him in a hard metal form. Sora's alive and in perfect hibernation. Excellent. Reset the machine for Skywalker. Slipped into 
Cloud City. Led by the Force, he found himself face to face with his enemy, Darth Vader. Their lightsabers sprang to life. Luke attacked boldly, forcing the Dark Lord to retreat. You have learned much, young Skywalker, but you are not a Jedi yet. Darth Vader slashed the weapon out of Luke's hand and backed him onto a bridge. Don't make me destroy you. Your future lies with me. Won't play, won't play the rest of the, the thing, but I can show you the words and the pictures. So this was Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back from 1980. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And our next book will be Star Wars Joy War the Fruit. The further adventures.